Hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome for the first time. Now, the sun's setting. It does have like a fall look right now. However, we're six months away from Halloween. And I normally don't come to Michael's until it's spooky season. But apparently, we get Halloween in April because of Michael's. Apparently, they have a Nevermore collection. It's kind of like a gothic home decor collection, so it definitely falls in the lines of Halloween decorations. So I guess officially this is the first Code Orange sighting of 2024. So I'm going to journey into Michael's and see if they have it on the shelves. So join me if you dare. One, two, spooky five. Michaels. They always have a good selection of Halloween merchandise. So maybe we should call this Michaels Myers. Michaels Myers, since it's a Halloween store. At least about five months out of the year. Terrible dead joke, I know. But anyway, we're going to go inside and see if we can find the Nevermore collection inside the location here in Greenville, North Carolina. Funny note, Spirit Halloween was right beside here last year. All right, so as I'm walking inside, I think it's right here. This looks like this is probably the Gothic collection, and it is. Here's a sign here that says, there is no beauty without some strangeness. Got some of these Victorian style frames as well as the artwork here this creepy looking lady i don't know how much some of these are price pointed at oh, i saw my own reflection in there and i thought the picture was actually moving but it was my reflection in there but i thought the picture was moving okay so these are price pointed at twenty dollars each basically be nice or leave we also have this little serving tray down here. Check this out. This is, I'm getting very Wednesday Adams vibes from all of this. It's like little dollhouse furniture here. It's got the creepy eye sitting in the background. How much is this? This is twenty-four ninety-nine. For this little piece of dollhouse furniture that you can sit Barbie or a Bratz doll on. Or, nope, let me rephrase that. Monster High would fit on this a whole lot better. But how about this? $25 for this. The picture is less than the little dollhouse furniture, as I'll call it. Now, I know it's not dollhouse furniture. It's just a never more decorative piece, I suppose. This one's creepy down here. Look at this. These are like, what is this, like a coaster? It's just an eye. $12.99 for that. It's kind of creepy. So here's my problem with this. When it comes to some of the price in here, I'm not seeing eye to eye. It's also like these old bird cages here. Looks like they're all put out by Ashland. Ashland, which is basically the store brand for Michaels. And this is $25 for this birdcage here. But check these out. These are like shelves. Check these shelves out. These are pretty cool. You could store all your creepy knickknacks and whatnots on this three tier shelf with the old school Victorian floral print in the background it's got the hooks for hanging too and it's 60 bucks for this three-tier still also got these old victorian style 
jewelry boxes, hat boxes, if you will. I think this would be more of a hat box than a jewelry box. And for this, it is 20 bucks for a cheaply made hat box. They also have this 21 by 19 inch gothic style mirror also. This kind of sums up how I feel some days. I don't hate people, I just feel better when they're not around. Also have these old jars here with the fringe and lace down here. 17 bucks for that. Then I'm not, this is just like wall decor here. I actually thought that was a toilet at first with an eye above it, but it's more like a, you can stick flowers in there. 30 bucks for that. Then of course they've got some of this wall, wall art also. And this would probably be one of the creepiest pieces here. This kind of reminds you of in the Scooby-Doo movies where the eyes would just move back and forth. Oh, and there's a different one here too. So there's two different ones. So you can get a set. And they are $25 each. I'll tell you that this sign kind of symbolizes the Black Hearts Club channel. I myself am strange and unusual. You also have like this almost thought that was an ashtray, but I guess it's something you can just kind of hold your jewelry in, maybe? Ten bucks for that. This little serpent forming a heart. It would be cooler, of course, if it was a black heart. Obviously. I don't think these exactly fit into this golden roller skates. But yeah, they do. Somehow this is part of the Nevermore collection. Is it $30 for the set, or is it $30 per skate. And that's what I figured. It's $30 per skate. But I don't understand how this fits in with this. And for that fact, even these Tiffany styled letters, like here's the letter A that's Tiffany styled. And it is. It's part of the Nevermore collection also, but I don't... To me, that... And that just does not fit in with this and this. If I am wrong about that, please let me know how they blend in together down in the comments below. But all of this definitely has the old school gothic vibes. Whereas golden roller skates, not so much. Or the Tiffany style letters. And here's some candelabras, candlesticks. Some floral vases. Huh. Being normal is overrated. That's the truth. And then there's like some of these Tiffany styled sun catchers. But check this out. I find it very odd that she's blowing a bubble. Like some of this Nevermore stuff is really mind-blowing because I don't understand where the the bubble blowing comes from in this. It just kind of takes away from the the eerie ambiance of it. Okay, this one lights up, so let's see if we can get it to light up. I never had much luck with these things around Halloween, so... Okay, there we go. And now when it's lit up, it just looks like she's got a freaking 40-watt light bulb hanging out of her mouth. It's like a light bulb hanging out of her mouth. Now, these are pretty cool. These are the old perfume dispensers that you would see back in the day. Then we have another three-tier shelf here. This is like a this is like a violin. Then we have like some of these decorative wall pieces here. As well as this old school picture here. And the old typewriter. Bad decisions make good stories. I do like this clock here. That's pretty cool. Runs on batteries and it's actually a working clock. 
surprisingly. You know, a lot of this stuff not only is gothic, but it's also along the lines of steampunk as well. I gotta make myself smell never more fresh than I am at this moment. Oh, smell the invisible aroma. Remember those Tiffany styled letters I was so distraught about? Well, I had a little bit of fun with them. B H C. Made use out of them. Black Hearts Club. Why not? But if we go down here, there's these storage books too that basically are like Grimm's fairy tales. And there's this old mannequin style here that's got the black gothic dress. Black is so much more cheerful. I agree with that. I'm dressed in all black right now. Pretty sure Grimm didn't write the fairy tales on a typewriter. But more so, probably used his hand and used ink to write with. Is it the Christina Perry song comes to mind? Here's a jar of hearts. Well, a jar of a heart. But it still makes me think of that song. Books are the mirrors of the soul. We've got these old school tea kettles here too. Teapots, rather little decorative umbrella definitely Wednesday Adam vibes there love is patient love is kind and check out this gothic style oval frame there's no glass in it you're just kind of hanging on the wall for decor and there's these little pillows down here as well as some easels a new chapter unfolds that is so accurate because a new chapter is always unfolding in life. I'm just going to leave that BHC there for whoever comes up next. They can rearrange it. Why not, right? The golden roller skates still make no sense, though. There's so much to take in here. I'm just going to give a quick once over before I leave out of here so you can kind of see everything that they have to offer because I'm sure I overlooked something. I wasn't going to go by piece by piece and show prices on everything so if you kind of see something you like just kind of slow it down, Shh, relax, pause the video, check it out on michaels.com and see how much it is and then you can either Ship it to your house or come in the store. BHC, remember, subscribe, Black Arts Club. They definitely have just about everything. Secrets, fibs, and glitter. Lots to choose from. And down here, I did not show these pillows, but there's these pillows, too, that have the eyes in it. Well, as positive thinking and good energy, as well as some more studded letters. Digging the old school creepy haunted mansion style wallpaper, if you will, they have hanging up here. But they definitely have a big selection here at Michael's. A nice teaser to Halloween 2024 and spooky season that's still yet to come. So if you like this type of content and you're new here, how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club? And if you're into this type of stuff, be sure to check your Michaels because this stuff is dropping now. Dropped this week, and I was not expecting to see this much inventory on the shelves. But they basically have almost everything that the Michaels.com website and app has to offer. So if you want to put your eyes on it, highly recommend going and checking it out in store to see how it looks so until next time like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the dark side